man. Can't get that guess who's back out of my head, man. J Scarface, yay. Beans. It's your boy. Launchpad 1412 here, man. And um, up here looking at this. Uh, I don't know why my screen messed up here a little bit on the. Uh, okay, I got it fixed now. Well, yeah, what's up, y'all? What's going on, man? I know it's about 9 a.m. in the morning. I know it's kind of early. You know, I got your guys up early live and kicking. Uh, we're going to talk about the topics real quick. But before we get to the topics, uh, I want to tell you guys why I had a two-day hiatus to a degree. Even though it's not really a hiatus, not a long time. I've went times where I didn't post for two days, and so it's not really a, a huge deal at all. But I was just, I wanted to say I was a little sick. You know, I, mean, I was a little sick, so I started playing the game. Uh, you know, I, mean, I, I was just playing the game. <laughs> I was just playing the game. And this uh it's a kicking back thing about what I should do with my uh my YouTube career here to a degree. So um and one thing I that I came to the conclusion is that um that you know maybe um I I'm not gonna say putting too much pressure on myself, but um I might be too putting too much pressure as far as like, you know, trying to trying to get where you know, my subscribers think I should be. Because um I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I'm okay with 4,000 subscribers. I, I think it's a lot. In my opinion, I think it's a lot. Now, would I, would I like to get more subscribers? Of course. And don't get me wrong. I'd love to have 200K subscribers. I would absolutely love that. Don't get me wrong. But um, but you guys show me a lot of love. And um, I'm, I'm just not sure how... I, I'm, not, I'm not conceding here, but I'm just not sure how possible that is for me to get to that many subs at this juncture. Of um of YouTube, you know what I mean. So, I you know I, I just don't know. I don't know, but I was sitting back and I pondered it. And you know, one of the things that um I I, I told myself was that um I got I'm, I'm gonna let it just I'm gonna let it flow just a little bit more, just a little bit more. But I got two videos for you guys today. I mean, three videos. So this is one video. I got two more for you guys. I got Black Ops Three at three o'clock p.m. So definitely check that out. Some funny stuff there, you know, you guys know you guys watch my Blackout videos for the comedy, you know I'm not the best at it, but I like playing the game, and I just like having some fun with it. That's why I don't post a lot, because I know it's not, I'm not the best at it, and I don't, I don't technically want to overshadow the people that actually play it more often, to be 100% honest, so I don't want to do that, so, and I got, I got a crazy, crazy double overtime NBA 2K online rink match tonight. 9 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. Be there. If you don't do nothing else with your life, see that right there. My goodness, man. Kings versus Warriors. I have the Kings. I'm not going to say any more, but double overtime fiasco. You got to see it, man. Just uh, crazy stuff happening in that game. My goodness, man. But, um, yeah, in the description, I got links to everything. Snapchat, Facebook. Show me some love with a book now, y'all. I got two subscribers on the book. <laughs> I got 4K now. Show me more love than that on the Facebook now. So I got Snapchat, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. My other channel that I, I'm I'm slipping for real. DMX slipping. Flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood slipping, man. My goodness. But I'm going to get on it, man. I'm going to get on that channel. <laughs> Snap, I got my Twitch in the description. I'm going to try my best to get on that more. I just got so much going on, man, in my life. It's just hard. Dang, my neck hurting. My head was hurting the other day. Now my neck. I just got so much going on, and it was just hard for me to. Uh, it's just hard for me to get on Twitch, you know. And I, I just don't want to get on there and not be live, you know. I don't want to do that, deal. So that's why I, I kind of, I kind of contemplate a little bit more thoroughly when I get on Twitch. But anyway, I got all that in the description right here and on, on every video. So definitely check out all those links if you want to. I even got a link. To where I do movie reviews um, called letterbox.com. The link to that is in the description too. Matter of fact, today, if all goes well, I'll have a movie review on Trouble with the Curve starring Clint Eastwood, Amy Adams, and Justin Timberlake. So if you're interested in, in seeing my thoughts on that, see what I rated. Letterbox.com, it's an awesome site, man. If you if you love movies, you will love that site, man. I'm, 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 I'm telling you, man, you will love that site. Definitely check it out. But anyway, topics at hand. I didn't ramble long enough. Topics at hand. My thoughts on the Super Bowl. I know I'm late. I know I'm late. But I was sick, man. Give your brother some leave. Give your boy some leave, though. Um, awesome game to me. Smash mouth football like back in the day. People getting hit, man. Fingers getting hit. Chest getting hit. Head getting hit. Back of the neck getting hit. Everybody's getting touched. Everybody's getting dirty. 
you know, it's Rumble in the Bronx time, you know what I mean? That's what I saw out of the Super Bowl. I was shocked they put up 24, 34 points together. 24 by the Broncos, of course, 10 by, by the uh, Carolina Panthers. You guys know that. You know, Cam Newton and Peyton Manning didn't have over 200 yards passing. I thought that was insane, but amazing at the same time. That's just how great both defenses were. Um, man, the MVP went to Von Miller, man, but the MVP probably should have went to both defenses because, oh, man, they was getting to both quarterbacks. I think the Carolina Panthers got a little luckier than what they, um, even though they, they, they lost. I mean, you know, so I, I don't know how you can, can spread that. But uh, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that the score could have been a little worse. I think a couple times right before Peyton Manning got hit, I think he had a couple touchdowns. I think he's seen I think those times when he was smacking the ground, I think he's seen it himself. And he missed some shots because the, the, the defense got there before he can get it off. I think he got lucky. I think they, they got lucky as a team a couple times. But even though, they, even though they did lose, so, man, they really didn't get that lucky. So, But, yeah, overall, in my opinion, I'm going to be honest with you, I thought it was an awesome Super Bowl. You know, shout out to the Denver Broncos fans and Peyton Manning, Von Miller for winning MVP. I, I, it was nice to see Von Miller get that. He definitely deserved it. I think he had two and a half sacks, uh, a couple back downs, and a, a force, two forced fumbles, something crazy like that. Cam Newton gets sacked seven times. It's just an uh, amazing game, amazing game. I can't wait for next year, man. I, I, I'm definitely sad that the season's over with, man, definitely, man. And next year, I'm going to try to be more involved as far as like, sharing my opinion on what's going on um, throughout the year. It is hard for me to watch the games with my work schedule, so that's why I didn't I didn't, I didn't, didn't do it this year like I, I planned to. But next year, even if I had the work schedule, I'll check out the highlights and I'll get more involved in it. Now, lastly, last but not least, I wanted to talk about um, Cam Newton not picking up that ball because... You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Who knows what was going through his head? Who knows what was going through his head? But, man, you got to try to get that ball, man. It's 13-7. to 7. You got to try to get that ball. You're the leader of the team. You're the captain of the ship, man. You, you got to. I just don't want to say he gave up, man. I don't want to believe that. I don't want to believe he gave up. I know a couple of his... Um, his teammates dropped some passes. I know a kicker missed a field goal. I know Jericho Cotty caught the pass, but they said it wasn't a catch, but it was a catch. I understand all that. The penalties, you know, everything. And you're in the biggest stage of the of the, of sports history. You know, this is Super Bowl 50. You know what I mean? So I understand the frustration. You know what I mean? But and when you're the when you're the leader, when you're when you're the leader, this is what a lot of bosses don't understand across the world. A lot of these bosses have no ultimate prime in them. It's, it's just uh, a lot of people don't. It's just um, it's insane. But we're not gonna get that deep. But what I, what I want to touch on real quick is that you have to be the one that you have to be sharper than your teammates. Now you you have to be. There's just so much that you have to be. That's why everyone's not a leader. You, know, you got to be a little bit braver. You got to be a little bit sharper, a little bit smarter. You got to be willing to go out and do more. You got to understand, your your teammates are going to do what they do, but you have to be willing to take all the fault in, in the good and the bad of what happens with the team, especially the bad. You know, and, um, yeah, I just, um, I just wanted to touch on him not getting that ball real quick, man. I don't know why. Out of everything that I, I watched out of the whole game, for some strange reason, that simple play <laughs> right there just stood out to me and, that's why I asked the title of this video. I just wanted to touch on it real quick. Um, don't want to don't want to hold you guys' time up too much, man. I, I just think Cam Newton, you got to get that ball, though, man. You got to at least try to. You got at least try, man. You can't have that. You cannot have that face where you gave where it looks like you gave up, man. I don't want to concede to the fact that he, he gave up. You know, maybe he thought one of his teammates had it. You know, maybe he thought the ball wasn't in range to get. Uh, maybe he thought it was unfeasible. Who knows? You know what I mean? They didn't get a chance to ask him because, you know, he left. And, and that's another thing right there, man. Um, that's part of being a leader. I don't talk about, man. You got to take the stones, man. You know, if I was him, I was still dead when I got to the end zone. Still get a ball to kids and all that. But, you know, I mean, one team had to win. One team had to lose. I mean, that's the most logical way to look at it. But, yeah, I won't hold you guys up too much, man. It's your boy, Don't Spare 14. Told you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out the video later on today. It's your boy. I'm out.